The Environmental Health Division inspects licensed facilities including restaurants and other places that sell or serve food, swimming pools, body art facilities, campgrounds, and schools. We also investigate animal bites for rabies within the county. Our largest program in the Environmental Health Division is the Food Safety Program, with around 920 food facilities. In addition to restaurants, we inspect mobile food trucks, gas stations, Dollar General, or other places that sell frozen and refrigerated prepackaged food. When we perform food inspections, we check for a variety of code requirements, including food safety, knowledge of procedures by employees, cleanliness, and that equipment is in good condition. During our plan review process, food facilities are assigned different risk levels based on the type of food they serve and whether or not they prepare food on site. A food facility can be a risk level 1, 2, 3, or 4. To determine this, we review the proposed menu, equipment layout, and our plan review application. During a food inspection, some of the most important things we look for is that the hand washing sink includes soap and paper towels, that food is being held at the right temperature, that chemical used to sanitize the surfaces and equipment are at the right concentration, and that employees are following proper personal hygiene policies. In the summer, you may see one of our inspectors checking your neighborhood community pool for water quality, safety equipment, and a working emergency telephone. Often, neighborhood pools have no chlorine circulating to disinfect the water, and we have to contact the pool companies to close the pool until chlorine levels are adjusted. If you're interested in getting a new tattoo, ask one of us about things to look for when deciding on a tattoo shop. We check that artists are following proper procedures and preventing cross-contamination between patrons. Each body art facility will vary in procedures offered. Some licensed body artists do permanent makeup, such as microblading, which darkens the eyebrows, and others provide corrective tattooing to cover scars. Our campground program licenses and expects about 20 campgrounds in Claremont County. During an inspection, we ensure that black and gray water is disposed of properly, campsites are correctly numbered and visible from the road, and safety equipment is present. Most of our campgrounds are along the Ohio River on State Route 52, and we have two state parks, East Fork and Stone Lick, located within the county. Our rabies prevention program investigates about 400 animal bites annually, mostly from dogs and cats. When we receive an animal bite report, we notify the pet's owner and place the animal in a 10-day quarantine period. A vet must examine a pet after the 10-day quarantine to ensure it shows no signs of rabies. Occasionally, a home owner will find a bat in their home. They may bring the bat in to get tested for rabies if there is a potential bite or scratch. When that happens, we ship the bat to Columbus to a lab. Every spring and fall, we inspect schools for safety hazards. During these inspections, we walk around the school with the head custodian to ensure bathrooms have soap and water and that chemicals are stored safely. We also check for playground safety and ensure the classrooms are in good condition.